Welcome back to Server Assist. Adam here and today I'm going to be showing you how to withdraw from your server account to an exchange, cryptocurrency exchange and to a cryptocurrency wallet. So make sure you stick around for that. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Server Assist YouTube channel. You can become a patron or a member of this YouTube channel, more information in the description below. And if you've not signed up to Survey yet, then sign up, use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. And if you do like this video, please smash that like button as well and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my content. Okay, without further ado then, let's get straight stuck into it. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to withdraw from your Survey wallet into an exchange or a cryptocurrency wallet. So... It's a straightforward process really and pretty much the same process for all the exchanges and all the wallets out there no matter which exchange or wallet you're using. So in this example I'm going to be using the Binance exchange and the Coinbase exchange as well to show you how to withdraw the cryptocurrency although I'll only physically be withdrawing the cryptocurrency to the Binance exchange. I'm also going to be showing you how to withdraw to a wallet as well. I'll be using the Coinbase wallet Obviously a wallet is different to an exchange, but you do need to transfer your cryptocurrency to an exchange if you was looking to transfer it to another currency, i.e. to a fiat currency like euros or pounds. Okay, so if you do want to withdraw your money to your bank, you will obviously need to put that money onto an exchange first so you can transfer it into a fiat currency that your bank supports. There will be a separate video on how to convert your Ethereum to your local currency, but that will be in a separate video. Okay then, without further ado, let's get straight stuck in to withdrawing the ETH from my server wallet. So as we know, the server wallet is up here. So if you click on it, you can see how much I've currently got in my account in fiat and obviously in ETH. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to actually withdraw £450 worth of the ETH currently in my wallet. So all you need to do is just click on the wallet like I've done so already. Then click on withdraw. Now you need to put in the amount that you're wanting to withdraw. So as I say, in my case, I'm going to withdraw £450. Now you need to put in the address that you want to send that cryptocurrency to. So I'm going to head over to my Binance exchange here. So at the minute I'm in my wallet and fiat and spot wallet, okay? And this will bring me to this page what we can see now. And then I just need to click deposit. So obviously we're going to be depositing the Ethereum into the exchange. Now this is the very important bit. You need to make sure that you're selecting the right cryptocurrency coin here because there's different addresses for each cryptocurrency. And if you were to send that to the wrong address, then that ETH will potentially be lost forever, okay? It's very important that you select the right coin. So in this instance, I need ETH, so I'm gonna click on the coin box here. This will bring me a drop down, And obviously I need to select ETH there, which is Ethereum. So I'm gonna click that. Now you need to select a network as well. Now the one you need to select in this example is the Ethereum ERC20 network here. As you can see, the ETH network, okay? So that's another very important step make sure you select the ETH network. So now I've done that, it's gonna give me an address. So this is my unique address for my cryptocurrency wallet to deposit funds into the exchange. So all I'm gonna do is click on this symbol here and this will copy that address for me. Now all I need to do is go over to Surrey and just paste in the address into this public address here because obviously we're gonna be sending the 450 pound to my Ethereum address on Binance. So I've pasted that in. Now all I need to do is just click continue. It'll advise you of any gas fees. Total is zero, which is absolutely fantastic. You just need to click confirm that you confirm that the amount is correct and that the address is correct. We know it is. I've just copied it from there. This is the right network. It's the right cryptocurrency. So everything's good to go there. So I'm just going to click send now. And you have to put your password there. And now it's saying that that has been requested. As you can see, it says, please confirm your withdrawal for the confirmation email that's been sent to you. So I'm going to head over to my email now. So as you can see, I've got a confirmation email here. Your request for withdrawal, a total of 0.4549 ETH has been sent to, and that's the wallet address, of course, that we just copied. 
If you're happy to proceed, please confirm your withdrawal request by clicking on this withdraw confirmation link. So this is another important step. You do need to obviously click on the confirmation link. That's the final step just to confirm that you're happy with that withdrawal. So I've clicked on that now. As you can see, I've got a little message here saying withdrawal confirmed. You can now follow the progression on your server account. Okay, so that's brilliant. So that has all been confirmed now. So if I refresh this, as you can see, the ETH balance has now changed. So if I click on this, if I click withdraw, I'll be able to see that this one is processing now, look. So this is the £450 that I've just processed, that is now processing, and that will shortly arrive in my exchange wallet here on the Binance Exchange. I've refreshed the screen, and as you can see, this money has now been received into my Binance account. I did already have £500 in here, so as you can see, the extra £450 has now arrived in the exchange. So that took around five minutes to arrive in the exchange, which is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it takes no time at all. If we go to transaction history, you can see the transaction here, look, deposit of 0.4549 ETH, which is equivalent to £450 at the time of recording, and it says that it has been completed. If we go back to my Sura account, click on the wallet, and then withdraw. As you can see, it's saying settled now, as opposed to processing that it said previously. So it's a very straightforward process to withdraw your ETH to your exchange. Now in terms of Coinbase, it'd be a similar process. Again, you'd click on your wallet address, you'd click withdraw, put in the amount that you want to withdraw and then paste in a public address here. So for Coinbase, all you need to do, obviously we need to receive funds. This is the Coinbase exchange. So you just click receive. Again, very important, you need to make sure you select the right asset. So we want Ethereum, of course, which is ETH. So there we go. You can just type it at the top here, click ETH. And then you've got the address again here, which I've just shown you. Obviously, this address is different to the Binance address. And you just need to copy that, paste it into the address here, and then just click continue. So this will obviously then process that withdrawal to the Coinbase exchange. So as you can see, very, very similar to the Binance example. Now, as I say, sending your ETH to a cryptocurrency wallet is also a very similar process. As you can see here, I'm on the Coinbase wallet app. And all you need to do is just click receive. You put in the coin that you want to send to your wallet, which of course is the Ethereum. Click on that. And then as you can see, we've got another similar address here. All you need to do is just click share address and copy. So again, you just copy that into your Sura wallet here. Click withdraw, paste it in there, continue. So exactly the same process as sending it to an exchange like Binance or Coinbase. But, but like I say, it makes more sense to send the cryptocurrency straight to an exchange if you are looking to convert that to your fiat currency and then withdraw those funds to your bank account. So as you can see, it's a very simple process to withdraw your ETH to an exchange or to a cryptocurrency wallet. If you've got any more questions, do drop them down in the comment section below. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will have a video coming up soon on how to convert the ETH to your local fiat currency and also how to withdraw to your bank. Don't forget to check out the membership options below for Patreon or a YouTube membership. And if you've not signed up to Surra yet, there is a link in the description below. If you want to get signed up today and get a free limited card after buying any five cards on auction. Okay guys, thanks for watching, see you again soon.